I know they were in holsters. That's just quick reference because those guns are hot. Um, I'll take them out a little bit, but I, you know, obviously, got to be more careful. So uh, anyway, guys, there it is, the CW45, and uh, I hope I like it. I hope I can get it functioning, you know, within 100 rounds really well. And I think knowing how to break it in is the way to go. I think the sights are pretty intuitive, especially if you do raise them a little bit. I mean, um, even I might start, I might see how this gun shoots a little John Wick can't, uh, to be honest, because then uh, it, this doesn't obscure your target. So I might even see boom, how I shoot it that way a little bit, you know, for close range CQB encounters. So um, anyway, I like the look. Obviously, maybe, <laughs> oh yeah, Glock maybe paid attention now if they're going to come out with. Uh, but this, this gives you the magazine capacity you can change and the look that I like. And the trigger, double action striker, but five pounds. So it's like the nicest, lightest uh, revolver trigger you've ever held. Not a 12 pound or 15 pound revolver trigger, but one that's been, you know, and even eight pounds are probably the best ones you've ever felt. This is a five pound double action pull. And um, anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed my breakdown. Please look at my next video and I'll talk about the rare Goldilock size pistols. Uh, compare them to a couple I have right here and then you know a couple that aren't here and really talk about the weight and what how m so many guns are too little weight. I work at a range that most people can't shoot them for shit because they can't handle the recoil uh, and why most single stacks are too light. Even the car in 9mm might be a little too light. Even most of the, the Glock 43, even 43X, too light. The Glock 48 maybe hits the right spot because it's a little bit heavier. Um, so please look at my next video, the Goldilocks size of CCW carry pistols. Thanks. Cheers.